going to be testing my torque wrench that I had modified. And uh, this is the compressor I'm going to be using. It's a two stage, runs at about 130 to 150 psi. That's about where it'll stay while I'm doing the test. I'm coming right out of the side of it. I don't have any regulators, filters, anything. It's just coming right out of the ball valve. And I'm using half inch hose with 3 8 fittings on the impact wrench. So it's getting far more air and pressure than uh, it's rated for, but it is what it is. And I got it set to 90 foot pounds. This time I got it set to a hundred. This time I'm at one ten. Now we're at 130. Success at 130. It's time to bump it up to 140. Success okay. at 140 at 150 now. I gave my torque wrench to my son that goes up to 250. So this is about as far as I can go with this, this test. So and my guess is as well as it's been doing, it's probably gonna bust this loose too. But I'll snap the stud off first. success at 150 foot pounds and it struggled a little bit with that one so my guess is I could probably go 10 more pounds 15 more pounds and it would get it with a little bit of work but my guess is 160 165 foot pounds of takeoff torque and granted it'll that's not rusted on bolts or anything like that, but 
Um, I really wish I would have taken some tests prior to doing any work on this thing. I kind of did all that when I originally did the modifications to it. I was just kind of goofing around. I didn't really do any scientific tests, so to speak. Not that this is real scientific, but um, significantly more powerful than when I started. So, uh, was it worth it? I suppose it was. Learning experience. I do actually use this thing quite often now. It works really well for light duty stuff like taking uh, like lawnmower blades off or if you got to pull a bolt out of an aluminum like Briggs and Stratton motor or something, it works pretty good with that without snapping stuff off. Um, so your mileage may vary. It was a neat experiment. It's probably a lot cheaper and easier. Well, maybe not cheaper, but it'd be a lot easier just to go buy a better impact, but it's fun to goof around with. So hopefully this test will help a little bit. I had a couple people ask about it, torque tests and, you know, and I thought, and I had intended on doing this back when I made the videos originally, just never got around to it, but I thought as popular as the videos were, I'd give it a shot just to give somebody an idea of what it does put out now. Unfortunately, I don't have the previous before I did anything, but it is what it is.